What we're talking about today is our Fight Light MCR Mission Configurable Rifle, formerly the Ares Defense Strike. It's a 5.56 belt fed weapon system for the AR-15, an upper receiver that drops into all of your traditional AR variants out there. So what we're going to discuss more specifically today is ammunition handling. So traditionally how you load your weapon as you raise the feed tray cover, either lock the bolt to the rear or not. Okay, there's our M27 link belt of ammunition with our starter tab. You put it in there, you charge it, chamber around, starter tab falls, and you go into your firing cycle of your weapon. Now, traditionally, when your weapon runs dry, you have two remaining links on the feed tray of the gun. And to demonstrate, I have four Magpul 556 dummy rounds linked up as an example to show you, okay? We'll see what it's like to wear when your weapon runs dry. So we'll go ahead and charge it four times. One, two, three, four, five to clear it out. Okay, and then we're going to raise our feed tray cover to see how many links remaining that we have. And we can see we have two remaining links, okay? That's standard for your MCR when it runs out of ammunition. Okay, cover our links take these two out now the concept here or what I want to modify and test on the range is as such I'm gonna add one round in that trailing single loop I'm gonna increase the link tension on that single loop and we will no longer have tension on our dual loop of our links and by doing so in theory we should have instead of two links remaining, one link remaining in the feed tray of the weapon when it runs dry. So I have taken our trailing M27 link seen here, and I've increased the tension. So I'm going to add that round in there. And it's a more significant tension than normal here on the trailing link. I'm just going to make it kind of even to that next round over. Okay, we're going to put it in the gun, and we're going to do the same sort of test. So it should be enough link tension where it's not going to shift around in there, and that's what I'd like to test on the range. So we're going to charge it five times, do a six clearing charge to clear that last round from the weapon, and we're going to see what happens. So one, two, three, four, five, and that six clearing charge. Now we're going to raise the feed tray cover and see how many remaining links that we have in the feed tray of the weapon. Now we have one remaining. So in theory, what I'd like to evaluate is that's one less piece of debris to fall into the weapon where you'd have to clear it out. If you, especially if you lock the bolts to the rear before you clear out your links and brass. Okay, normally I raise the feed tray cover, clear the links, and then go into our charging to where you can either lock the bolt through there or check the chamber to where you don't have anything falling in there to where you cause a stoppage during reload. Okay, so that's what I'm going to test and evaluate on the range to see if it's uh, plausible. And to identify that trailing link, I'm probably going to paint or indicate that single loop in some way or fashion to where it will... Uh, indicate that that's our trailing loop to where when I recover my links, I'll put that on the trailing end to where it's not going to cause a stoppage further on in to the belt once I reutilize those links. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned to the channel. We're going to test this theory out soon. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.